Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> Welcome back to the painting dojo. Today we paint the uh, gargoyle from Hero Quest in a very fast uh, way. The first thing I have to say, you need the glass wet palette from the Red Grass Games or another uh, not a wet palette. We need only a, a first uh, a wet pa uh, glass palette. Yeah. Then we prime the gargoyle black and my plan is to dry brush him first in all ways because he's a pretty stone stone type huh? and we dry brush in everything like a sketch and also the base and then we give him tones and we follow the lights and all this stuff and uh, of course the wings give him some cool nice tones um, you have to know um, we need only a few colors from nocturna for me the best stone colors uh, in the way of the fast painting or the stone painting we need um, the malefic flash and the cold flash these are our uh, basic colors we start with the cold flash Take the uh, dry brush brush. Um, I use this from Red Grass Games because it has a good size and it's uh, pretty good. I don't uh, use the paper. I use the um, uh, foam here from a blister because um, I can uh, stipple and yeah remove the color from the uh, brush. And you see what I'm doing. I'm going over all parts smoothly, not so so heavy, so bam, 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 and dry brush, and then I take the wash, and so on. No, that's not the way. Yeah? We go over it, the whole parts, and let the deepest parts black because we we try to create a shadow, shadow from the uh, lights and the shadow parts, um, and not uh, dry brush everything uh, hardcore. Yeah. Okay, um, you see I'm making a mix of uh, standard dry brush, uh, smooth uh, and a little bit here and there, stipple a little bit and then we create a nice tone. You see here I'm dry brush everything and now comes um, an important step. After you dry brush everything uh, with stipple or something like uh, techniques you are familiar, you go over all edges with the side from the brush over all edges from the miniature. That's a very important, um, yeah, uh, it's a very important step because uh, you you get a volume. You you cr you create really light points. Yeah, here you see. The result, I do this on every miniature. I, I, I cut this here because uh, it's a little bit too long. The miniature, if you paint everything, I think in this method, you need only one hour, one hour, 20 minutes, maybe this, yeah. Filming is a little bit uh, complicated, uh, complicated as uh, normal painting, yeah. So the next step is um, you go with uh, color again and see what I'm doing here with the base I stipple it irregular uh, way I stipple here stipple there and for me the best combination to get a cool base look is the base is black and then the cold cold flash creates um, a, a super structure of the of the base and you also can hit your the feet or something it's it's not important it's not uh, it's not a miss yeah and um, you see what I'm doing here I, I stipple it irregular and now you create the base from alone yeah this is a nice technique and pretty effective yeah so the next step is not to use a wash or something no nah! you use the airbrush the airbrush is for the commission painting and of course the Valhalla German water. And um, 
the most important thing for a commission painting is uh, the use the airbrush because everything is, uh, gets uh, faster and smoother. You mix it with water and you see the consistency is like an, uh, yeah, a very diluted color. Yeah? Not the wash, not the glaze, but uh, it's good diluted for the airbrush. And the, the thing is, I spray over the miniature because we have um, of the dry brush every brush strokes on the miniature and we try with the airbrush to bring these dark primer gray uh, black and these colors and the brush strokes bring them together a little bit and make them smoother as a smooth surface yeah you see, it is hard to film an airbrush work. You cannot see correctly what I'm doing, but imagine you have, um, yeah, you have a surface. It's, it's very rough and you spray with the airbrush over all these rough parts and bring these rough parts together and you, you create a smooth, smooth uh, surface in that way, yeah? So now comes a cool um, uh, tone. I use the army painter green, uh, green, green tone and dark tone, and use um, the mixing tone thing here. Quick shade uh, mixing tone thing. If you can use, you can use this because it's remove a little bit the the strength of both uh, tones and you see how uh, transparent they will go <clears throat> and um, it's uh, a good tool yeah to use uh, it's same little bit like lamia medium or the um, uh, the other one the contrast thing I use a little bit of water and you see I, I mix it I mix it uh, if I get the correct tone uh, green and black is a tone for a stone every time uh, you paint a stone or something like that these these both colors black uh, green and brown and uh, these tones are always in stones. If you look at stones, you will see. Sorry for the camera issues here, uh, but um, yeah, you know me. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I go over all the whole miniature. Be careful and try not to get uh, this um, too much on everything because this is our tone. And yeah. If you see, if you want to see uh, some good close pictures, go on my Instagram account and check up the pictures of the gargoyle. Then you can see it uh, closely, and uh, yeah, I think um, you will understand what I'm doing here. Also, I do it on the wings because the wings are um, a big place, and you can't uh, hit. Pretty, pretty cool uh, surface and you hit the most of the parts and then create the tones. So, after it is dry, it's needed time to dry. You can use a hair dryer. Uh, you see me later in the video, I use a hair, hair dryer. Hair dryer is the next uh, most important uh, uh, tool in the commission painting. And yeah, and then comes the next step we use the um, cold flesh and mix it with the uh, ivory 
or ice yellow in the in this case ice yellow and cold flesh <coughs> sorry i mix it a little bit because now it's time to concentrate um some parts of the whole body the weapons and the horns and uh, uh, everything on this miniature uh, to create a, a good good light effect yeah that, that, that your eye you will see uh, what the miniature has designed yeah you can create uh, some light points some light spots and do it very smoothly not rough yeah because uh, if you do this otherwise you have to go with the airbrush again yeah same as the backside uh same everywhere everywhere on every edges every parts that you want to see that the visitor or the the, the yeah your friends or something um want to see what you have done and when the light is coming they uh, f uh focus this parts and this is pretty pretty good and you have to do this believe me you have to do this yeah the the good dry brush work is not only uh, dry brush and washing and dry brush uh, finish yeah this is not true yeah this is wrong so um the next super super important point of a good good looking gaming quality uh, miniature is to give uh, to create more tones and the second good thing of these tones are you see i diluted the malefic flash pretty pretty good like a filter and i go over all the, the complete part of the miniature i go really over all these brings every tones together and kills some loss um brush strokes yeah uh, from the dry brush style yeah and you give them sorry for focus uh and you give them a filter and you know like a cams or something the, the eye needs filter yeah filters are uh, a little bit extremely uh, than the glazing you see i use the hairdryer here because if you use the hairdryer the, this goes very fast um, so the next uh, fast dry the next tone is the blue green i use the blue green from acre interactive because the blue green from acre interactive is more intense yeah has more pigments i think like this from vallejo but but both are cool i like i love both yeah and you go really uh, over the parts again to bring another tone yeah on the wings on the weapons on the body on everything yeah it's really a good good thing you see in the first time you use the filter or something you think hey what i'm doing here i don't see everything but you will see later they comes it, you um the often you you do this the more and stronger will come out here yeah? and the result is spectacular yeah, really and you this is a funny funny um funny work yeah it's uh it's nice to see after a time how nice they look yeah he comes together and you see and uh, yeah the next time is um the next thing sorry is super important too we try to create in the shadows uh, some brown parts yeah uh, like here what i'm doing the knees or in the uh, deepest part of the body you see that i use the uh, brown you can use brown whatever you want yeah i use i, I think in this case this is the cavalry cavalry brown <laughs> Cavali I, I hate this fucking name eh? yeah and you can use every brown if a strong brown is important and you set up these browns in in some parts in some holes because this is so important they 
uh, if your eye look at that, and then they see, ah, this is a stone. Your eye understand, your camera understand, this is a stone. Because it's brown, it's blue, gray, it's gray, it's, it's uh, beige, it's, um, green green is the next what coming yeah you see Now you can go with the blue green pure in some deep spots to set here and there some finishing touches, some finishing effects, yeah, verdigris or blue green. In my case, blue green is uh, for me better than a verdigris, yeah. I set up here, set up there in the holes. The, the, oh, you can also go a little bit over the brown. It's, it's okay. It's not the problem. It's a stone, have irregular, um, improvised uh, 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 parts, yeah? Go in the weapon, in the deepest parts, go. And this looks pretty good at the end. Um, and create volume, create effects, yeah? And every people say that and say, oh. Uh, normally, some people uh, so really intelligent people tell me <laughs> yeah but the stone have no verdigris and so yeah of course not stone but do it it looks cool it looks nice it looks like magic yeah and um here comes a point most of the people doesn't do this but it's super super uh, important it's uh green green tones green tones if you look at the cover art the box, uh, the, 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 the cover design in the main rule book of the gargoyle, you see also they have green parts in the middle of these holes, of these parts between the muzzles. They have green colors. This is also a thing of a stone. And you can use these uh, green also between the teeth and the cheeks and the ears and the horns again and um, believe me at the end look super nice Here comes the shadow parts. The nocturna shadow green is uh, super perfect for uh, all these stuff. You can use these shadow color for everything. It's um, yeah, it's one of the best shadow color, <clears throat> like the hexagon or something like that. And you can uh, improve all shadows uh, of the miniature. And these 
is really one of my favorite. Yeah. So the final touches for the edges again, edges, edge uh, highlighting is a pretty, pretty boring thing, but you can set up here pretty cool, nice, nice uh, light points, <clears throat> ice yellow, cold flesh, again, more ice yellow and bring some nice spots for your eyes and for the weapon and make some scratches and improve some some here and there some edges and uh, yeah this is a, a boring part but but for good for the eyes and for the visitors or something to see for the gaming uh, to uh, improve the the looking miniature you can also paint with these colored uh, teeth and set up some or the yeah the horns the the ears and you see the light difference also and yeah that is a, a part you have to do this yeah you can <clears throat> improvise over all the miniature if you paint too much reduce it with the finger uh it's not so bad yeah you can do this and the na uh, the, the next uh, point is um to paint the base it's uh, also uh, super simple we create a base color in the in the beginning of the video you see it and the next part is <laughs> do the uh, paint the, the structure of the base um, uh, I don't know the word in English, but uh, you can uh, hold uh, in, uh, for inspiring um, uh, from outside and look how crackles the cracks uh, the, uh, have the board or the the stones and then paint it so like this a little bit. Yeah, you see here, take a smaller brush and a little bit shivering. Yeah. And not so uh, straight lines, draw not straight lines, a little bit shivering, so here and there, and uh, go in uh, some other ways. You see what I'm doing here, and then wash it overall and uh, uh, set final uh, white or uh, brighter stripes with the ivory and cold flash color, and then you have the base. This is just super simple.
Yeah, and you see the finished product is uh, looking perfect for uh, gaming. And yeah, okay, uh, at the end of the video, you see which color I use. Uh, for this model and on Instagram you can see better pics if you have questions write me or, or in the comments below and in the next video I can sneak up I paint the fishy 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 monster and uh, which which uh, which which uh, wizard the dark does, does, yeah I don't know the witch witch <laughs> the witch yeah yeah okay I paint these both models in one time at the same colors and you will see very very soon here on my youtube channel uh, so i think uh, i'm out and thank you for all your support and write me if you want to have questions or something and uh, yeah have a nice day and we see us in the next video with the fishy 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 monster and um, yeah and the witch witch hexa on german <laughs> okay bye